I wish I knew this sooner, but the truth is you do not need to pay a lot of money to fly first class or business class. I paid only £175 to fly first class and Q-suites with Qatar Airways from Abu Dhabi to London Heathrow, saving well over £2,000. I will share with you how you can do it too. But first, let me show you what this trip included. So the itinerary was first class from Abu Dhabi to Doha and then business class Q-suites from Doha to London. At Abu Dhabi International Airport, there were no queues at the check-in counter, so check-in was quick and I was given an invitation to the first class lounge. Unfortunately, it was closed, so I used the Al Dhabi lounge instead and I didn't really allow myself enough time to explore the lounge, but from what I could see, there were plenty of seats, pods, showers, a small buffet and bar. I had a quick breakfast, which was complimentary, and then had to rush to board my flight. Although this flight is marketed as first, it is essentially a business class cabin. And that's because Qatar Airways market most of their Middle Eastern business class flights as first. On this flight, the cabin crew provided impeccable service, especially Safwan, who ensured that I was well fed and hydrated throughout the flight. I had a spinach wrap, which was tasty, but the pit of bread that they served on the side, which was overheated. So it was a little bit hard, but I really can't complain as this was still really good for such a short flight. I sat in seat 2F, which was really comfortable with a lot of leg room, even with one of my bags under the seat in front of me. The table tray was located in the armrest and could be configured in a number of ways. There was also a mini retractable tray on the other armrest to place your cup on. The seat came with the plushest pillow I have ever experienced on a flight and a lush velvet blanket. The flight was only one hour so before I knew it we disembarked at our bus gate but boy was I in for a surprise. So one of the perks of flying in this so-called first class cabin was the first class bus that awaited me and the one other passenger flying first class. But my word, I have never been inside a bus like this before, let alone an airport bus. It had these big comfy armchairs with space to store your hand luggage. It was more like a lounge than a bus. And to be honest, it was very wasteful to have only two passengers, but I'm not going to lie. I loved this experience. After going through security at Doha International Airport, I made my way to the Al Safwa Lounge. The first class lounge had a contemporary and sleek design with plenty of space and felt more like an art gallery than an airport lounge. With water features, art and historical artifacts displayed, pods, plenty of seats, a parents room, a games room, a duty free shop, a business center with Mac computers which you could use, a spa and one of the nicest bathrooms I have ever been in. The Al Safwa lounge doesn't have a buffet but instead has two eateries where all the food is made to order. The bistro has foods like snacks, salads and sushi and is probably ideal if you have a very short layover. And the main restaurant is more like fine dining and it's definitely not an experience that you want to rush. This was all complimentary, so I made sure that I ordered the items that would be the most expensive to order if I was in a restaurant. So I ordered the scallops for my starters, the Australian Wagyu beef for my main course, and the New York cheesecake for dessert. And it was absolutely delicious. I thoroughly enjoyed. My layover was four hours and 55 minutes, but time flies when you're having fun. By the time I had finished my meal and pootled around the lounge, it was time to board my flight. And I was literally the last business class passenger to board the plane. Ahead of taking these flights, I was really excited as this was my first time flying first class and Q suites. I was over the moon to be flying with one of the world's most highly rated airlines in their signature product and paying only a fraction of the price. 
cabin crew introduced themselves to me, brought me a drink and kindly showed me where everything was in the suite. She also handed me the menu and took my food order. I agreed to have my food after takeoff and enjoyed the sun setting as we took off. So I'm in my key suite now. I am very happy. The flight started off with receiving the gorgeous rose scented towelette. I had a glass of uh, sparkling rose. Now that we've taken off, I've enclosed myself in my suite, which is fabulous because I can film freely. So let me give you a tour of the suite. So in front of me, I've got a massive screen. Then below the screen, you've got the tray. Underneath the screen, you've got a space to stretch out your legs. To the right, we've got the control station. I'm going to call it the control station. But I've got my lemon mint there, my warm nuts. You've got the controller. You've got a plug and a USB port the headphone jack and then here you've got all of the seat control and then on this little seat here this is where you have storage so there's a bottle of water in here I've already put some stuff in there and I've put my immunity kit in there too service started with a prawn canapé for my appetizer I had the classic Arabic meze with pita bread although I think I might have preferred the quinoa crusted seared tuna and then for my main I had the Qatari style chicken and then finished off with the cheese plate I didn't have dessert but I did finish off with a cheeky glass of dessert wine now the food was just okay to me but I think with this being the fourth meal of the day I just didn't have the space to really savour and enjoy. The Dip Tea Community Kit contained an eye mask, socks, lip balm, fragrance, face cream and hand cream. I did like the fragrance but I wasn't wowed by the amenity kit, especially because some airlines like Turkish Airlines have pretty decent economy class amenity kits. No PJs or slippers were given. I kind of expected slippers. Again, airlines like Asiana provide slippers in business and economy class. I received the same lush pillow and blanket that I received on my first class flight and an extra pillow for added comfort. Noise cancelling headphones were also provided, which were pretty good, especially if you have to compare it to the headphones that are normally given on economy class flights. The suite is pretty private, even with the door open, but with the door closed, you feel like you're in your own private little spot, which was great. The toilet was really spacious and clean and had windows in it, which I can imagine is a nice touch when flying during the day. Inside the toilet there were dental and shaving kits. I did prefer the service I received from cabin crew on the first flight. However, the nature of the sweets and the fact that I didn't have much energy after dinner and chose to rest in the live flat position and watch films on the massive screen for the rest of the flight meant that I didn't have that much contact with cabin crew so maybe it's not a fair comparison but to be fair the interaction that I did have was still top notch and before landing cabin crew gave out little boxes of chocolate which I think is a nice touch. Can you believe that this whole experience cost me only £175? I mentioned earlier that I would reveal how I did this and it's because I redeemed the avios I had been collecting from the British Airways Executive Club, 45,000 to be precise. I acquired these avios mainly through the British Airways shopping portal and credit card spend. I transferred these avios to my Qatar Airways Privilege Club account and made the booking using avios, paying only fees and taxes, which came to 800 dirham, which was approximately 175 pounds at the time of booking. If I had paid cash only, it would cost me well over 2,000 pounds for this experience. 
Collecting avios to later use to book flights is way easier than you may think and anyone can do it at no extra cost. Watch this video next to find out about some of the many ways you can collect avios to save potentially thousands when booking flights.